friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and you're having a very lovely magical day. Today we're going to be unboxing some magical treats. That's right because we have had some magic delivered. Oh yeah, this is a Accio box, or previously known as Accio. I think they, I think they want to go by Magic Delivered now, so we'll call them that. I'm very excited because this is a chunky box, and it feels like it has been a while since we've unboxed one of these. I'm not sure what the theme is. I have a feeling this might be their holiday box, but with all of the Christmas delays, and also I was out of office for a few weeks. But it doesn't matter because. I'm very excited. Magic is magic regardless of the time of the year, that's what I say. So if you would like to know what is inside this box, which disclaimer by the way, has been sent to me for free to review for you guys. If you wanna know what's inside, then keep on watching. And hey, if you're brand new here, firstly, Hello, welcome. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because we have had some magic delivered and we are about to unbox the lot. Okay, righty ho then, Flo. Right, here it is. This is the Accio box. Uh, magic has definitely been delivered. I did give the owl some treats upon arrival, you'll be pleased to know. Right, let's open it on up. We've got Alohomora, yes. Open and unlock the magic, okay? Okay, yes, this is, this is giving holiday vibes. I'm seeing snowflakes, I'm seeing snow things. I mean, it is still winter here in England for a couple of more months. I'm very excited for spring. I'm very excited for spring. Right, there's your sneak peek. Let's put the box to one side and discuss all the items. Okay, so first things first, this was on the top. This is the spoiler card, so I'm not gonna flip this around, but it says, welcome home. And it's got this beautiful house on the front, which is in a very snowy scene. I like that. We'll have a look at that later on when we actually get to needing the spoilers, but let's move on to an actual item. Okay. Oh, I like the design of this. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's take it out of the crinkly, crinkly packet. Okay, I think I know what this is now actually now that I've seen this side. So here it is Let's have a look at the patterns on here. So we've got some pumpkin juice. We've got a magical radio We've got butter beer some Ron Harry sweater biscuits Maybe a pumpkin pie or an apple pie. We've got Christmas pudding. We've got candy canes. We've got pecan pie Maybe we have many treats on here. We've got some sweets over here and then some baking going on in the middle. Now, if you flip this over, firstly, it does have a hanger. So this is a kitchen product. I think this might be a heat proof mat. So maybe when you put it down and you get stuff out of the oven from when you've been baking and making some very cool treats, but they're very hot, you can put that on your surface and maybe it won't burn. I think that's what it is. Maybe you could use it as like a little grip to get stuff out the oven. We'll have to find out what this actually is at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. But this is the first product and it is lovely. I like it. This is kind of like woven material. I like it. It's very, it's giving autumnal vibes if I'm being completely honest with all the oranges and the kind of forest greens. So yeah, I'm gonna see what this is and see if I can make a home for it in my kitchen. Okay, on top we have got a card. This is a recipe recipe so this says from the kitchen of molly and this is a recipe of arthur's favorite gingerbread that's so cute so it has all of the ingredients and if this is like last time on the back oh no they've got the directions on there last time they had one i believe where it had the vegan recipe on the back and then the normal recipe but this is just the full recipe there i guess you could swap out a few things for different dietary requirements. Either way, I love the card that it's on. I love that this looks handwritten and I like that it all fits on a small card like that. So I haven't made gingerbread for a very long time. In fact, I was thinking the other day when I was cleaning my kitchen and sorting it all out, I was like, I haven't baked since 2020. I don't think I've baked a thing for two years now. 
And that's a crime because I'm actually really good at cooking and I know a lot of you are probably screaming right now being like do a cherry's kitchen but I mean just general baking for like day-to-day -day life I love making like Victoria sponge cakes carrot cakes lemon drizzle cakes like there's a lot of I make a mean snickerdoodle cookie as well I'm just saying <laughs> okay so this is giving kitchen cozy vibes Okay, let's have a look. Oh my goodness. This is a pair of socks and it says handmade with love by Mrs. M. Weasley. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are socks. I'm in love with these. We'll talk about favorite products at the end because there is still a full box of things to discover but let's turn this over and have a look so it says happy christmas dears stay out of trouble at school oh my goodness right let's have a little look oh i don't want to take them out of the cute little package so we've got one that says g oh it's for fred and george <laughs> I love these guys. I'm not joking. I would buy these from a shop if I saw them. I love this kind of mossy green. It's got cream in there as well. They feel really nice quality, very nice and thick for the winter. Am I gonna wear these this week? Yes, I think I am because these are gorgeous and I really, really like those. <laughs> I like those a lot. So there we have it, some socks, cute. Okay, what else do we have in here? I want to grab oh oh i don't know what this is okay we've got a box and it says holiday stamps owl mail the north pole office st nick approved galleons it says perfect for all of your magical mail on this side and then it's got some owls on it it says add an enchanted touch to even the dullest parcel we've got the ford angler on there that's pretty cool and then on the back it has their new branding which is magic delivered okay oh my god i know what these are i know what these are i have been on the craft side of tiktok for the last few weeks and these are rubber stamps oh guys guys oh it comes with the ink as well okay so this oh my god it has like little spare little things okay this is the ink and then you we have four stamp blocks so these are wooden blocks and let's take this one so it says errol post oh that's so cute look a little errol i'm a i'm obsessed so when you take these blocks out they look like this on the other side and then you would stamp it into your ink and then onto paper and there you would have some beautiful things so it has like a little gift tag that says to and from airmail by the ford anglia um airmail north pole, pole office and then errol post i really like these i think that's so cool i have never received a stamp like this i don't think we've had a lot of wax seal stamps in boxes before but i don't think i've ever had a full set of rubber stamps those are very nice i really like these these are going straight into my stationery drawers in my office downstairs because i think that those are a lot of fun I really like those. That is a very, very strong product indeed. Okay, and let's move on to something else in a crinkly packet. Let me just decrinkle this. Okay, what is this? Oh my god, it's a Christmas stocking. <laughs> so it looks like it's been knitted. Let's have a look. So we've got dragons, Christmas trees and love hearts, the Ford Anglia, some generic Christmas pattern, some owls, some holly berries maybe? and then chocolate frogs at the bottom and then the main kind of vibe of it is yellow my honest opinion on this it's not my favorite design it's a bit garish and a bit random i like the size of it though and i like that you can hang it up and i do think that it is similar to something that maybe molly would make perhaps like she's been trying to use all of the spare bits of yarn she's got left to make a stocking and that's why there's so many colors that's the context i'm putting to it anyway leave a comment down below what your context would be i do like the chocolate frog segment honestly if i had a whole stocking of chocolate frog like that i'd be all over it but yes yellow to me this bright is it's just not my color palette but that's fine we can't like everything in boxes it's all about personal taste leave a comment down below do you like the stocking or is it not for you too okay this next thing has my attention because it says invisibility booster. I 
I'm just obsessed with the four down clear guys. You guys that have been on this channel for a very long time, if you're new here, I used to have a four down clear in my garage and I was gonna EV swap it, but then it just became too much of an expensive project. So I did get rid of it, but oh my God, it was so magical having Arthur Weasley's car in my garage. It was a very fond memory of mine. Okay, so this says invi invisibility booster. If this is something that you have to plug into your car, I might, might have a little cry. Um, I do not know what this is. Ooh. I don't know what this is, guys. It's got some wipes in there. Okay, so we've got some adhesive loops. That's what they look like. Adhesive loops, there's two of those. So stickers, we have some wipes, kind of like lens cloths kind of thing. And then the actual thing inside, I thought it might be a pop socket, but now I'm not so sure. Oh. Oh my God, the mechanism in that is really, really nice. Now, if I had a stop-start car, this would indeed be perfect. But I will say, I feel like this might be a slightly odd choice if that is what it is. I'm open to being wrong when we read the cheat sheet later on. It's an odd choice if you don't have a car or you don't have a car that has a push, push, start button. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> unless I'm completely missing what this is, but I really do like that mechanism. I've got to say, I love the making of it. It does feel sturdy. It's a nice thing. Push to engage, invisibility booster, boop, boop. <laughs> Having too much fun with that. Okay, I want to read more about that because the mechanism of it is really nice and it feels quite good as well, but I don't have a stop start in my car. Just a note before we carry on this unboxing, I was told that an extra box add-on has been added into this box as well as an item that's not yet been released. So we will have to check the cheat sheet to figure out what those two items are. So if there's a few things that are in this box that weren't in yours, that is why. But let's carry on because this, I believe we have had before from Accio, in fact, I have a feeling it might be this, which I have got in my desk drawer to, <laughs> to make them smell nice, unless they've redesigned it. Aha, it is indeed another one of these. This must be the extra item that they added because we've definitely had this in an Accio box before. So I am gonna save this and I'm going to give it to one of my friends that has the correct air vents in their car to use it because I do not have the proper air vents in my car. Yeah, I'm really sad that I can't use this, but I know that I have friends that will enjoy this and they smell so good. Just to show you what this is. So the little vinyls are the actual air fresheners themselves and damn. <laughs> They're some of the nicest scented little air fresheners and you pop it into this. This bit will clip onto your air vent in your car. And then when it's blowing, this will spin and it will look like you are playing some magical music, Celestina Warbeck. So there you go. It is a really cool item. If that is still available on Accio, I definitely recommend it if you have a car that you can use it on. So that's really awesome. There is something in, ooh. Okay, we haven't had one of these from Accio before. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a 500 piece puzzle. I feel like my mum might enjoy this. She is obsessed with jigsaws. This is a really beautiful scene of the burrow. And it's also kind of like, you can see inside some of the rooms. So that's pretty cool. We've got um, the bathroom there. We've got maybe Fred and George's room because there's some like little firecrackers <laughs> that are going off in there. But it's a really lovely scene. We do have the four danglia down here. We've got Fred and George throwing snowballs. We've got Molly in the kitchen. Oh, this is so cute that it has all the characters. There's even a snowman here with a broom. And that is the cutest little snowman. I think those are meant to be gnomes that are kind of climbing it maybe, unless they're pixies, but they're the wrong color. But there is a lot of detail in there and I think that's so cute. So this is the Home for the Holidays Jigsaw Puzzle and the art is by Megan R.N. Adams. It's an Accio exclusive, so you can only get this jigsaw from either this box or Accio. Very nice, quite like that. Okay, we're gonna do a lucky dip. Oh, something very orange. 
Aha, chuddly cannons. This looks like some sort of bag. Oh, it is, look, it's got drawstrings, but what could be inside? Okay, let's open this bag on up, see what it could be. Is it like a floor or a pillow cover? Or I think it's a cushion cover, guys. Wow, that, um, am I holding it upside down? Yes. <laughs> Well, actually, no, that it's it's different way around on each side. But either way, there is the Chudley Cannons League Champions. And um, it does indeed, it is a pillowcase. There we have it. There is the label. Is this a pillowcase that I'm personally going to use? Probably not. But would a younger witch or wizard maybe like this for their bedroom? Potentially, yes. I love that it came with a little bag as well. I think that's a nice little extra, which wasn't really necessary to have a pillowcase in, but it's quite nice. It's just not for me. Okay, let's have a look to see what else we have. Okay, let's talk about the pin. There is a pin here. It's in this kind of snowy, shiny, snowflakey bag, which is quite cute. Oh, I think it's actually a Christmas decoration. Well, they'll have to wait till the 2023 Christmas tree, unfortunately, because we are in January right now. Let's open it on up. I'm very intrigued. Oh, well, isn't that just adorable? That's a very nice Christmas decoration. So it does have the burrow inside. It's kind of in this lantern shape. It's got this golden ribbon. It's got some wizards and witches that are flying around the burrow. It's almost like a lantern snow globe because there is snow. That's very cute. And it's, ooh, it's, the light can go through it as well because if you see the back, they've used translu almost translucent enamel. But yes, this is a hard enamel, so it's really nicely made, very high quality. I would love to see more of these, maybe towards next Christmas season, like in the run up towards Christmas so we can use them. I do like that. Right, what have we got left? One item. Okay, this is exciting. It's a very similar pattern to that mat that we got. Is this an apron? Oh, I think it is. Oh my god, yes. Okay, if this isn't a sign to do some more Magical Kitchen episodes, I do not know what is. I love this. This is a um, adjustable apron strap. I have put that in the wrong way, my bad. But you can alter the size and the length of the neck strap, which I think is very cool. A lot of aprons don't tend to have those, which is frustrating, but that's very nice and it's really easy to change as well. So that's cool. And then we've got the straps at the side. Let me just hold this up for you guys. Oh, a big red pocket at the front as well. Oh yeah, you can put all your whisks in there and your spoons that you've licked. We've got, oh look, there is a little shortbread cookie with icing of a golden snitch on it. That is adorable. I can see some brownies, all the things that we saw earlier. That is so cute. Oh my God, I wanna get baking. Right, let's adjust. Oh, that's so easy to adjust. That's really good. I love this. This is very nice. This is something that I would happily wear whilst baking. That's a very strong product. I feel like everyone needs at least one apron. And why not have an apron that's got a magical twist to it with a very useful practical pocket and adjustable necktie. I like that, very cool. Okay, let's check out this cheat sheet, shall we? Because I want to know which items were added. And so there's a box add-on and one that wasn't released yet. Let's find out, okay. So, holidays at the burrow, magic delivered spoiler card. We're heading to the burrow for the holidays this year. Okay, so we had a stocking. It says, hang up your very own stocking with the rest of the family this year. It was designed with each person's interests in mind and it's perfect for being displayed or actually used. Okay, that makes more sense. So that one's clearly for Arthur. That one can be for um, Charlie. And then we've got, I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Intriguing. Let me know which part of this stocking you think goes with each Weasley member. Okay, so we've got the stocking. 
Then we had the apron and pot holder. So that's actually classed as one item. And we were correct. This is a pot holder. So this will stop your wooden surfaces or any things that you want to protect. Like if you've got a marble surface and you don't want it to crack with a really hot pan, put this on, put your pot on, Bob's your uncle. Is that a very UK expression? Does anyone say that? anywhere else in the world. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little read about the apron and pot holder. So it says, if you're into cooking, grab an apron and join Molly in the kitchen or just grab a cookie. That would be me. Uh, <laughs> featuring lots of fun, magical images designed by Karen Leopold, this apron and the matching pot holder feels festive and helps you fit right in. Okay, I do like those. Those are giving some magical festive vibes indeed. Let's move on then to the G, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> to the G and F sweater socks. So these are Fred and George inspired sweater socks and it says homemade sweaters are so cool, but the holidays are so busy and they take ages to make. This year, everyone's getting socks. We thought the twins mismatch set would be the most fun to share. I really like these because they are mismatched with the letters, but they match with the colors. And I think that's a really cool idea. So very nice. Then we had the pillowcase. It says this full sized microfiber pillowcase fits right in with a certain redhead's bedroom decor, but it's perfect for any witch or wizard who favors this specific team or wants to add a bit of color to a room. Next up was the 500 piece puzzle. It says illustrated by Dash of Nutmeg, this puzzle features a gorgeous winter scene and some of our favorite characters. Put it together over and over again or frame and display it as art. Find more magical art at nutmeg.shop. I like that business name. Okay, then we had the holiday stamp set, which was here. It says, add a little bit of magic to your letters and packages this holiday with these magical post themed stamps. If you can't send your parcels via owl, add some flair to your non-magical post. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, then we had the ornament. It says, this ornament designed by Mad Unicorn Studios is perfect for hanging from a tree or displaying on a shelf. With a snowy home scene inside the lantern, this can bring a bit of magic all winter long. Check out other magical goodies at madunicornstudios.com. Then we had the recipe card, which we had here. It says, Molly's graciously sharing her recipe for Arthur's favorite gingerbread. Is anybody else immediately hungry? Yes. Be sure to share your results or your favorite holiday recipes with us. So. This was the add-on, the push start button cover. So this was the add-on for the box. It says this magical car accessory is a great way to add some magic and invisibility to your drive. We don't recommend pushing it in traffic, but we do use it if you're taking your car out for a fly. Okay, so that's the add-on to this box. And then this was, um, Though this has been released, I'm very confused because we've had this before and it smells really good, but we have had that before. Okay, let's talk about my favorites, least favorites and overall review of this box. Okay, this is everything that we got in the Accio box, including the add-on as well. I haven't included this just because I think that was just an extra gift. So let's take a look. Let's talk about my favorite things that filled my heart with a lot of joy. Honestly, my favorite things are the socks. Those are a color and a material and design that I would happily wear on a day-to-day -day basis. My second favorite is the stamp set, the rubber stamp set. I thought it was a really lovely idea having a full set of them and having rubber stamps like this in a box. Very cool indeed. This probably is, uh, this is, I'm, I'm in between two minds for this one. I love how cool it is. Am I jealous I don't have a push stop start in my car? Yes, I am. And I, I'm also aware that this is an add-on. So that kind of takes away my point that I was gonna make about, you probably shouldn't put that in a box if not everybody can use it. So in that regard, it's fine. I want it to be a favorite. I'm just, it's close. It's a close favorite. I just can't use it, but I do think it is 
very very cool um let's talk about least favorites for me it was probably the stocking it's a bit too garish i didn't really like the aesthetic of it i understand that it's meant to be molly doing her thing for each family member chudley cannon's pillowcase probably not going to use it i did like the apron and the mat i thought that was cool but it wasn't a favorite but i did like it so yes i'm gonna stick with the stamps and the socks being my top favorites quite liked the ornament but it's not a favorite this could have been a favorite if i could use it but i'm we've spoke about that already so let's talk about what you guys think of this box overall let's just take the add-on out for a moment so we can see everything that was just in the regular box i quite liked the theme of this like home for the holidays kind of winter i know we are past that right now i do think it hit the mark pretty well with some items especially the male ones like the stamps the socks i think the only thing that didn't hit that theme for me home for the holidays was probably the chudley callens pillowcase i feel like that would fit a lot better in a quidditch kind of themed box it doesn't scream like if you gave me this on my own i wouldn't think oh christmas holidays but overall i think it was an okay box i did enjoy it these two just stole the show for me <laughs> and that's okay but look it's all about personal preference when it comes to these subscription boxes so of course i want to know your thoughts down below write a comment under this video what was your favorite item from this box are you gonna treat yourself to a magic delivered box what was your least favorite from this box and what things should they have put in a home for the holidays box leave a comment down below i'll be sure to reply to some of those as always thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me i appreciate you guys so much and if you would please do give this video a magical thumbs up for me it really helps this channel out and i'll see you in my next video okay guys i will see you soon bye right i'm gonna go put my new favorite socks in my sock drawer